Hello, and welcome to Biohacking with Brittany. I am so happy that you are tuning in today. This is a place where I talk about biohacking and health and wellness, and I am a registered holistic nutritionist. And I actually recently completed my course in functional medicine for women's health. So I just finished it last week, and I am actually going to do a quick review on it shortly, just because I said I would in a couple of my episodes ago. But before we dive into that, today is all about Q&A, some questions from the listeners that I have gathered in various places. Sometimes I get responses to my newsletters and sometimes it's DMs on Instagram, maybe even TikTok if I check them. (laughs) But I kind of just collect the questions and every now and then I just kind of answer some of them, especially for things that... I find intriguing or is new and maybe I haven't talked about it yet. It's also just a great way to update everyone on my own health journey and what I'm going through. And I just try to be as honest and open as I can. So before we get into all of that, which I'm really excited about, a shout out to Inside Tracker. They have a really big promo coming up in November for Black Friday. Honestly, I think all these brands do. So my personal thing is like, if you're planning to buy any type of health products like this week, I would wait until the Black Friday promos come out because I just think it's worth it. And it's three weeks away. So you might as well wait. So they have a big promo coming out, and this is the blood test that I do that looks at over 48 different biomarkers. And I'm actually going to get tested again. I'm going to, I'm setting it up for this month because the last time I was tested was in July, I think. So it's actually been a minute. And that was before I did my preconception cleanse for 90 days slash hundred days. So I'm really curious to see the results on that. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And I love Inside Tracker. They are my go to recommendations. And a shout out to Fatty15. I released an episode with Fatty15 about a month ago. And this is such a groundbreaking supplement. This is a new essential fatty acid that has been found. It is the most recent essential fatty acid that's been found since omega 3, which I think was over 90 years ago. It's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So go back and listen to that episode with Fatty15 and their team and how they discovered this essential fatty acid is so interesting. Essentially, they found it through dolphins and the story behind it is wild, but it's a really interesting episode. And I got a lot of good feedback from that episode when I released it. So many people said, thank you so much for finding this new supplement. I can't wait to try it. This is what I've been looking for. So That's fatty 15. I currently take omegas in addition to fatty 15. However, once my omegas run out, I will probably just use fatty 15 because it actually can replace it. It has just as many benefits, if not more. You only need one small supplement from it. Once you see it, it's tiny and it's very, very powerful in the body for you know, a cellular integrity of the outside of the cell, of longevity, anti-aging, hair, nails, everything we kind of think of when we think of omegas is very similar to Fatty15. They have a great website. So definitely check that out. And I will probably be doing another episode with them again, just to kind of go deeper into the science and hear what they're up to next. And also shout out to Mimeo, another groundbreaking supplement this year. Honestly, I I said this on my Instagram stories a couple days ago or like a week ago. I said Fatty15 and Mimeo are like the two groundbreaking leading supplements of this year for me. I, you know why? And it's because I don't see anything else like it on the market. What other supplement do you see like Fatty15 that is a brand new essential fatty acid, which is crazy. And then we have Mimeo, which is a stack of four different biomimetic ingredients put together and making it more effective. So instead of just taking one of these ingredients, whether it's spermidine, NMN, things like that, PEA, OEA, 
they actually studied what it would be like to put four of these together, just like they are in the body. And the effects are in like so much more effective than if you were to take them separately. Like seriously, seriously more effective in terms of, again, anti-aging and longevity. So this supplement in, in itself is actually shown to replicate the benefits on the body of a 36-hour fast. So that means that you actually don't have to do the fasting. You just get these benefits and you don't have, like, especially for a woman, if fasting is too much for you, you get to take Mimeo, get the benefits and not worry about the negative and harmful side effects of fasting that can come. So if I were you and you were listening to this, if you were like, what are the newest supplements on the radar? What should I be aware of? 100% it would be Fatty15 and it would be Mimeo. Both of them I will link on the show notes and on my website for you to find. And if you have questions about them, send me a message on Instagram. That's where a lot of you have been talking to me about both of them. And I'm here to help you. Absolutely. Speaking of websites, I am publishing my new website this week. This has been so fun to create, and I'm so excited for you guys to check it out. My old website was just brutal. (laughs) It got released in like early 2021, and I cannot stand it. So I did a whole brand new photo shoot. I got new branding. And to be honest, like I'm the one who's actually created this website. So I have a bit of a background in software just from different jobs that I've had. And I have been working online for so long. So it's pretty easy for me to do something like this. And I'm hosting it on Shopify. So I am really obsessed with it. It's super modern, super clean. And it's just way more reflective of my brand than you know the last one was. And speaking of... When my website comes out this week, I'm actually launching my consulting practice again. This consulting practice is going to be focused on women's health. Unfortunately, (laughs) I won't be seeing any men. I won't be seeing anyone who's focused on gut health or mental health or anything like that. Although I will still put out content about that, as I always do. But that consulting practice is solely for women. So If you are looking to talk to a female biohacker about what you can do for your health, that is me. And you can book directly through there and I will make it available. And it's also not going to be like crazy priced or like this big program or anything. It's not like that at all because that's not my end all be all. So you can do that. And if you would like to win a free women's health consultation with me, you can actually enter on my website as well. I'm doing a giveaway and I will be doing, I think picking winners every other week once my website is up and running, which will be this week. So thank you for listening. And now let's dive into these Q and A's. All right. I know that so many of us struggle with our hormones. We have a lot of confusion around our menstrual cycles, ovulation, having our periods, regulating it, and really just minimizing the symptoms that we often deal with. I have been there. I've had a mild PCOS diagnosis. I have had irregular cycles since I've been off birth control. I've had a ovarian cyst. And honestly, I've been through a lot when it comes to hormones in the last few years. So out of that, I really taught myself about cycle syncing. And this is the idea that during different phases of the cycle, we are doing different things. We are eating different foods, taking different supplements or drinking different teas for the nutrients, exercising differently in response to where our hormones are at at that time. And through living in this ebb and flow of our cycle, we can actually feel better. We can look better. Our hormones are happier. We're mentally better. We can sleep better. And this is exactly what I found. So I took everything that I did. I put it into an easy peasy guide for you. It's called the ebb and flow cycle guide. It's on my website. Go and grab it right now. This is literally going to solve all of your hormone issues. I'm not kidding. It's so, so good. And it's so easy to read as well. I also added in a part about seed cycling because I know so many of you are interested in seed cycling as well. 
So that means what seeds do we take during which phase of the cycle? These seeds have different phytonutrients in it that can help with the different hormones during the different phases. And I've also included over 30 recipes that are super tasty as a bonus. So these recipes are designed for the different phases. So you can have certain ones during your period, during ovulation and things like that. And of course, I included biohacks. I included which biohacks to do around ovulation to optimize that, how to optimize your menstrual cycle or your menstruation during your period and everything like that. Everything from castor oil packs to acupuncture to red light therapy to healing baths that that I love, that is what I did. So this is my ebb and flow cycle guide. You can grab it on my website right now, biohackingbrittany.com. Go for it. And I hope you really enjoy it. There's been over 500 that have been bought already, which is so amazing to see. And I'm just so thankful that I get to help women with their hormones and on their health journey. All right. First up, let's see what listener number one says. Hi, Brittany. I love your show. I listen to every episode. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm intrigued by the idea that biohacking can be like a personal experiment. Have there been any aha moments when you stumbled upon a biohack that completely transformed your daily routine or habits? Ooh, I love these questions because they actually really make me think about the things that I do and reflect. I guess I don't reflect a lot on things like this. So aha moments when you stumbled upon a biohack that completely transformed your daily routine or habits. I think recently... An aha moment. I think sometime this year slash maybe in the last year and a half, something that has kind of like stuck out to me that I've heard on a lot of podcasts is the importance of getting outside in the morning. And I don't know if I had necessarily had like this aha moment. Maybe I did, but I just keep hearing everybody talk about it. Like you wake up, you go outside, you wake up, you go outside if it's raining, if it's snowing, whatever temperature it is, you go outside because of all the benefits that come from that. So the benefits that come from that include helping regulate your circadian rhythm by seeing morning light and then allowing you to have a proper cortisol curve and response. And honestly, like just balance hormones in general and then be tired and like more like sleepy, less energetic at the end of the day and then do it again the next day. So we have that light that kind of triggers that circadian rhythm. Also getting outside is great for exposure to healthy bacteria. So in the air, there's a ton of healthy bacteria. There's also negative ions, especially if you live by water or if it's raining or if it's snowing, there's negative ions in the air. And those are actually really great for making you feel more energized and happier. So there's that aspect as well. So we have the light that comes from the early morning sun. We have the fresh air aspect, and then we have the movement aspect. So typically when you go outside in the morning, at least for me, I am walking my dog like 10 out of 10 times. And so that is really great for getting the body moving, for increasing blood flow, circulation, and especially after lying down and resting all night. So that is really important as well. And then I think the other part as well for me is like hydration. So I'm drinking water, I'm having tea, I'm having decaf coffee, I'm having something like that. But I just think that is so important. And I hear it in so many podcasts now again and again. And so now when I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, do I want to go on this morning walk? Like today, it was two degrees Celsius outside, okay? The sun rose at 8 a.m. I was out walking my dog at 6.30 in the dark, okay? And I was thinking to myself, do I really want to be outside doing this? And we want to be comfortable. We don't want to do things like that. But then I just remind myself, there's so many benefits to doing this. And when I don't do it, so say I wake up, roll over, start working right away. I work from home, go on my phone, put on the TV put on the computer, whatever, I am more tired faster. So I'll hit a slump at like 1 p.m. 
2 p.m. than if I did my exercise in the morning for 45 minutes. So I think that has been something that has made me go, aha, 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 every time I hear it. And I am going to continue doing that. And I've actually committed, I posted this as well on my Instagram stories. I bought a new jacket. It is a full length parka puffer jacket, whatever you want to call it. And it goes past my knees because it's so cold in the morning. And I'm like, okay, I want to be warm and then I'm not going to have an excuse. So I have invested and I'm going to continue this healthy habit probably for the rest of my life because I just don't think there's anything else like it out there. One of my favorite game changing supplements that got released this year is Fatty 15, which is just changing how we see essential fatty acids. C15, the first essential fatty acid discovered in over 90 years, is at the heart of Fatty 15. This science backed award winning supplement is setting a new standard for long term health and wellness. Imagine reversing cellular aging, achieving whole body and mind health. Fatty 15 offers three times more cellular benefits than omega-3, targeting and reversing the core of how we age. If you value omegas for your hormonal health like I do, Fatty 15 is a revelation for menstrual well-being. It's the breakthrough that we've all been waiting for. But there's a lot of other benefits just other than the hormones. It is more than a supplement. It is a lifestyle game changer. Say goodbye to those days of feeling sluggish and hello to a renewed sense of vitality. Whether you're an athlete looking to optimize your performance or someone simply aiming to improve your overall well-being, or maybe you're also interested in longevity and anti-aging, Fatty 15 is definitely for you. This is one of the best supplements I discovered this year, and I am so, so thankful that I did. You can use my link in the show notes to to get a discount off of Fatty15. They don't have any discount codes, so you have to use my link if you want to save. And I highly suggest you do so and add this to your stack of supplements today. Okay, so listening to this, if you don't get up early in the morning to go outside and do some exercise, you seriously, seriously should do so. And I also listen to a podcast during it as well. So I will have one wired headphone in my ear and I will have my phone on airplane mode and I will listen to a downloaded podcast of all kinds of things. Like, my gosh, like so many different health ones, but then I also listen to very random things like true crime or stuff you should know, or I don't even know, celebrity stuff sometimes. Sometimes I don't have the mental capacity to be able to learn something new. And I just want to hear about celebrity gossip, you know, (laughs) like it just just depends on the day. So that is what I do. And that's what what I really recommend. Okay. Listener question number two, Brittany, biohacking often involves unconventional methods. Yep. Can you share a biohacking practice that seemed a bit strange or weird at first, but turned out to be surprisingly effective or beneficial Oh my gosh, so many, so, so many. Yeah, so many things that I've done over the years that are, yeah, there's kind of two ways to answer this. There's things that you can do that push you out of your comfort zone, but have tremendous benefit once you're on the other side of it. So like cold plunges is a great example for that. But then there's also things that are weird because they're not a part of your culture. You didn't grow up doing them. You didn't see anybody doing them. Maybe they are a little bit invasive on your body that you're not used to. So an example for that would be like enemas and you think, whoa, this is weird. Should I be doing this? I don't know what I'm doing. So I've definitely had moments like that. Definitely. I would say the most recent one would be the vaginal steaming, the yoni steaming. And I wouldn't say it's weird. I would just say it's strange in the beginning when you have never done it before, because you're literally steaming your vulva over hot water, not too hot, but like warmish hot water with herbs. And like, I didn't grow up seeing family or friends do that. That was not a part of any type of conversation or anything that I ever did. So it's interesting when you kind of adopt these new practices, but now with the yoni steaming, it is a part of my monthly routine 
bi-weekly routine and there's so many benefits from it. So I use Leia Moon for that. I will link that in the show notes. That is the best Yoni steamer, vaginal steaming seat that I have ever seen. And that is the one that I recommend. And that is the one that most people who talk about it recommend as well. Like the people, other podcasts similar that I listen to. And it's phenomenal. It's got red light therapy in it. It doesn't have any harmful um, chemicals in the plastic. It has the ability to use herbs. So I just had Jessica, the founder on my podcast, and she talked all about the herbs and the benefits from it. It doesn't hurt you at all. It's a very safe seat. It regulates the temperature of it. So it's never going to burn you. So it's very, very beneficial. And I love it. Literally love it. So that is one that I would say was like, oh, this is a little strange. Like watch me squat down and steam my vulva. And then at the end of it, you're like, oh, this feels amazing. This is super nourishing to my body. I'm going to continue doing this. So definitely check that out, especially if you're listening to this and you have any type of irregular cycles, PCOS, endometriosis, if you're in postpartum recovery, if you are very far along in your pregnancy, it can actually help with labor and induce labor. So lots of benefits for yoni steaming. Let's talk about getting the remarkable benefits of fasting without the daunting commitment of long-term fasting. As a dedicated professional, always on the lookout for ways to enhance my health and well-being, I've explored intermittent fasting extensively. And if you're a listener of the podcast, you know this. However, I've often found myself pushing the boundaries and experiencing adverse effects such as sleep issues and energy slumps and also hormonal issues. While intermittent fasting did offer some positive outcomes initially, like many of us, I struggled to incorporate it long term without it really disrupting my daily life. However, my life has recently take a turn, taken a turn for the better, all thanks to Mimeo. This is the world's first biomimetic supplement. This incredible innovation is the accumulation of years of rigorous clinical research meticulously designed to replicate the effects of a 36-hour fast at the cellular level, which is wild. With Mimeo, I can now experience the holistic benefits of fasting without enduring prolonged periods of hunger and deprivation. Are you intrigued about the benefits? Let's get into it. First and foremost, Mimeo activates your cell's innate regenerative capabilities, much like fasting itself. This translates to optimized metabolism and better control over hunger, which a lot of us really value if we're trying to watch our weight. Secondly, it significantly boosts energy levels and accelerates recovery, making it an absolute game changer for active individuals like myself. Thirdly, Mimeo elevates mood and sharpens mental clarity, enabling us to be at our absolute best every single day. I definitely notice this, especially when I take it right before work in the mornings. The icing on the cake is that Mimeo's formulation is exclusively derived from molecules naturally produced by our own body. This means it is very, very safe because it is in perfect harmony with our biological system, delivering optimal effectiveness. Still not convinced? Mimeo offers a 100% happiness guarantee. That's right. There's absolutely nothing to lose. So for all of my fantastic listeners out there, if you want to give Mimeo a try and add it to your supplement stack, I really suggest you do so. And you can do that by using my discount code biohackingbrittany for 10% off for the first three months of your subscription, which is awesome. Join me along with countless others who are on the path to revolutionizing their health with Mimeo. Bid farewell to the challenges of long-term fasting and usher in a healthier, happier version of yourself which we always love. Thank you for listening. And always remember, when it comes to optimizing your health, Mimeo holds the key. Visit their website, link in my show notes and on my website as well, and embark on your journey towards a better you now. Okay, number three. Listener, this listener, I'm just keeping these people anonymous because it's. I think it's just easier. Hi there, Brittany. Biohacking can be a constant journey of self-discovery. Can you tell us about a biohacking experiment that led to a significant change in your perspective on life or even your purpose? Wow. That's a big question. It's funny when I react to these questions because I obviously 
read them before doing this, but it was a few days ago, so I kind of forget. And I also like to answer honestly on the podcast. I don't want to like write out a script or an answers necessarily. So yeah, a biohacking experiment that led to a significant change in your perspective on life. Wow. Or even your purpose. Yeah. Okay. I think the biggest one was way back in the day. And people laugh when I say that because I'm, apparently I'm too young to say way back in the day. But when I first started my health journey, I had a lot of symptoms. I've talked about this. I had a lot of symptoms when I was a teenager and couldn't really find a lot of answers. And I ended up reading this book and it was called Wheat Belly, which is such a funny book because I just remember being shocked by it so much. And honestly, I think I don't know. It's like, it wasn't necessarily an experiment, but it definitely changed my life's trajectory and my purpose or was one of the stepping stones that did that. Because from that point on, when I was like 17 or so, I started thinking about nutrition and being paleo and understanding that the less processed food we have, the better, the more nutrient dense food we have, the better, the more local organic produce we can get, the less processed grains, the less wheat, those types of things, how it can change our gut microbiome, how it can change our blood sugar and insulin levels and hormones and how everything kind of like trickles down and how our diet in general is just so important. So that book made me realize that. I didn't know it at the time. It also wasn't a time when like wellness was really at the point where it's at today. So it wasn't a time where I could go on Instagram and look at wellness influencers and be like, oh, you're doing this. I should do that too, or anything of the sort. So reading that book was very significant in my life's journey. And around that same time, I started working with a naturopath and kind of just started learning about healing naturally and kind of fell in love with it. And it became my passion. And then it became my life's purpose to be able to help other people heal as well. So that was like a pivotal time for me, whether I knew it or not. And I just remember just being so shocked (laughs) by that book. You know, what's funny is I I probably should read the book now again. Like, I wonder what my perspective on the book would be reading it now, knowing how much information I know. Okay. Question number four, this listener says, can you share how biohacking has influenced your relationships either with like your loved ones? Have you introduced friends or family to biohacking practices? Yeah, absolutely. So I think it's influenced my relationships in a couple of ways. So I think the we'll start with the bad. I guess, I guess it's the bad. I think, and I know so many people can relate to this, is when you get to a point where you understand health so significantly, it becomes everything that you love it's your purpose, your passion, whatever. It's really hard to see loved ones around you making decisions that do not align with their ultimate healthiest self. And it has been a very hard time for me to swallow that and let that happen. So for example, if you're going out and your family member orders a beer and you know that alcohol is basically poison and toxic is like very toxic in the body and you know that it's processed grains and that's filled with gluten and it's going to cause a significant insulin and blood sugar spike it's also going to stop any fat metabolism for the next 24 hours to 36 hours like you understand all of the effects of that simple decision and it's hard to sit there and be like oh nice you got a beer And just kind of like let that go, especially like, and I find this like the closer I am to the person, the more likely for me to say something. So with my parents, I will full on be like, you probably shouldn't have that. (laughs) Or my husband, you probably shouldn't have that beer. You don't need it. You know, like I will say those types of things with friends and family that are further, not as close to me. I don't usually say anything, but that has been very difficult because Again, when you're so in it every single day, 
you understand the negative consequences of these actions, it's hard to just watch people make those decisions. So it's been a learning process, let me tell you, especially in my own relationship with my husband. He, I have to let him be on his own health journey. I can't control him. I can't make him do things that I think are better. I can inform him and I can tell him and I can show him, but he still has to make the decision at the end of the day. What I have found in the last few years as I've been going through this and learning more about this is that I try to lead by example now. So even with my parents, my brothers, my husband, I try to lead by example. So if we go out for dinner, I will order, like, let's say we get something like nachos. So I'll get some without the processed cheese, without sour, without sour cream, without, I don't know, whatever else is like processed that comes with it, for example. Even though, you know, again, nachos in themselves are pretty much processed. Or for example, if we go out for a drink, I will get something that is alcohol-free. And so it's like leading by example instead of criticizing or pointing out what they shouldn't do. And it's effective. It's very effective. It's very effective. I found many times when I've gone out with friends and I say, oh yeah, I don't need to drink. I don't want to drink. And then they go, oh, I don't want to drink either. And then so we don't, right? So it's very, it's kind of a beautiful way to see it, but it is really hard when you are trying, when you want the best for the people that you love, right? Like that's what it comes down to. You want them to live a long, healthy life. You want them to have a biological age of 10 years younger. You want them to be fit and healthy and be able to run around with grandkids one day. Like that's what you want, obviously, right? Like you want the best for them. So it doesn't come from a place of negativity or criticism or selfishness. It comes from a place of like, I want this that's better for you. But how do we communicate about that without me telling you what to do, trying to control you, which just backfires in a relationship. So my go-to now is I lead by example and I let the other people make their own decisions and you just let it go. At the end of the day, like that's all you can kind of do. And so that is like my advice, I would say for friends and family. I know it's really hard. I know it's really hard. Listen, I'm in the same boat as you. When you go home for Christmas or for Thanksgiving, Holy moly. I can't even with the holidays. I can't. Like, oh my gosh. It used to be so funny. It used to be like, let's say five years ago, it used to be, I would go home for the holidays and I would say, oh, mom, can you pick up some almond milk? I'm, I don't drink dairy. I don't eat dairy. And it would be such a fuss and such a big thing and an eye roll and a complaining about how almond milk is expensive, hard to get, blah, 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 all of these things. And so I would feel like guilty, shamed for like these healthy decisions I would make. And now, <laughs> now when I go home for the holidays, it's very different. It's, it's my mom will bake something and she will bring it out and she'll say, Brittany, I baked this thing. I made this batch of cookies and there's no dairy in them and you're going to love them. But then in my head, I'm like, oh, but like they're filled with sugar and I'm not going to eat them anyway. Right? So it's hard because you, people become so excited to make you happy about like your dietary preferences. And I understand that, but then maybe it's still not something that you would want. And then you kind of feel bad saying no. And so that's kind of what I deal with now is like, I'm like, oh, mom, there's gluten in it. Or like, oh, you know, there's sugar in it. Like I'm trying not to eat as much processed sugar. And it's tough. It's really tough. And I've heard a lot of people, a lot of people in my DMs talk to me about the holiday time, which maybe I'll do a full episode on as well. Because it can go so many ways. Like even when you're filling your plate and if like, say you choose to do like the protein and the vegetables and you don't do the bread or you don't do the desserts or something like that. Sometimes like other family members can judge or eye you down or roll their eyes or make comments or something like that. And it's hard because you end up internalizing that 
and then you feel guilty, but in your mind, you're like, oh, this is the healthiest decision for me. So I'm going to stick to what I know, regardless of what you're doing for your health. So I guess my advice is you're not alone. I'm there with you and I get it. (laughs) Stick to what you think is best for you, regardless of what other people are doing around you, which is really difficult. My other piece of advice is chances are, if you are listening to this podcast, you probably know more about health than those people who are judging you. Therefore, don't listen to them and don't take their advice because you are probably more educated and experienced than they are. Okay, that's my little soapbox I ended up standing on for that question. Okie dokie. Are you tired of generic health advice that doesn't take your unique needs into account? Do you want to gain a deeper understanding of your health beyond the surface level recommendations? I want to talk to you about Inside Tracker's ultimate plan, the answer to your personalized health questions. With comprehensive blood biomarker analysis, it provides tailored insights into your body's needs. The ultimate plan tests up to 48 different blood biomarkers, including ApoB, cholesterol, glucose, magnesium, cortisol, vitamin D, and insulin. This comprehensive analysis extends your lifespan or health span and guides you to a longer and healthier life. Inside Tracker goes beyond generic clinically normal ranges to unveil your body's unique optimal biomarker zones, revealing where you're optimized and where your improvements can be made. They have science back recommendations on nutrition, fitness, and lifestyle, and are all personalized to your body's data, helping you reach optimal biomarker zones and achieve your wellness goals. Now with insulin testing included, you'll have the key to sustained energy and an early warning system for chronic diseases. This is actually really important. High insulin levels can increase the risk of conditions like heart disease, Alzheimer's, type 2 diabetes, obesity, and more. Inside Tracker's measurements and recommendations can help you maintain healthy insulin levels. So are you ready to control your health in a new and personalized way? This is the test that I do every few months and I am obsessed with it. And I change my healthy habits and my nutrition and my supplements based off of this data. You can go to insidetracker.com slash biohacking with Brittany and you will get 20% off. You can use my discount code biohacking Brittany. It's linked on my website and linked in the show notes. So definitely check that out if you want to do an at home blood biomarker test that looks at over 48 different biomarkers for you so that you can start optimizing your health today. Last question. Oh no, two more. Okay. As a biohacker, you're at the forefront of health innovation. Yes, I am. Have you ever had an experience where a biohacker or a piece of technology felt like science fiction brought to life? (laughs) And what was it like integrating it into your routine? Wow. Yes. So I've I don't think I have anything in my home that's like back to the future vibes or science fiction brought to life. I would say when I went to the biohacking conference in June, I think it was June, then I definitely saw some things that was like, whoa, this is pretty crazy. There was, I don't even know the name of it. There was one machine there. If you were at the conference, you would know there was one machine there that was a hundred thousand dollars. And it was like a lounger. Think of like a lounger at the beach, like a lounging chair. And it did 12 different things. I don't even know what it all was. Like so many different spectrums spectrums of light. You would sit on it. It would do all of this stuff. The lineup to try the chair was booked the entire weekend. So I didn't get to try it. But that was very interesting. So that was definitely like science fiction. The other thing that I think is kind of science fiction is hyperbaric oxygen chambers. So if you've been in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, it feels like you are training to be an astronaut because it's like this small tunnel bubble that you're in and the pressure goes up and up and up and it's like such a weird experience. So I think that is one that's a little science fiction-y. And then even float tanks like come to mind. Like I was in a float tank last year and it was a large one that you could stand up in and then you lie down and then you float in the water and then they turn the lights off. So you can't feel your body and you can't see anything and you're just floating 
in this like very dense water. And it's such a weird experience. I know some people love it. I didn't really love it, but that was so weird. That was so, so, so weird. So that those are the couple that come to mind. I know there's so many more, but those are the things that I was thinking of. Last but not least, I do want to talk about the course that I did quickly, the Functional Medicine for Women's Health course. This will be linked on my website that comes out this week. So you can take a look at it. I liked this course. It was pretty straightforward. It had a bunch of different seminars in it and uh, videos and presentations. There was one that I really loved, which was all about fertility. I thought was really good. There was one that was about functional labs and like the HPA access and hormones I thought was good too. So my recommendation would be if you have a foundation in nutrition or health or functional medicine or holistic health or anything like that, I think it's a great add-on to your to complement the education that you already have. This course by itself is way too short and small to be something that you do and know enough from. It like it's not like that at all. It's not foundational stuff. It's like building on what you already know. So I thought that was pretty good. I yeah, I would recommend it to anybody, especially if you're just trying to get more information about women's health. The other one, the other ones I'm going to do is the Czech Institute Women's Health one. That one is next. And then I'm doing the lifestyle functional medicine course from IFM, which is the Institute of Functional Medicine. And those are the next two that I'm doing for this year. And then I don't know what I'm going to do next year. I don't know. I'm, there's a couple that I have my eye on. So we will see what happens. I hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. Thank you for listening. I know this was a bit of a shorter one today. I will catch you on Friday for another one about women's health. Fridays are dedicated to women now, all about all sorts of things in the women's health sphere. And I will catch you as well next week for another two. And please follow me on Instagram at biohackingbrittany and TikTok at biohacking and check out my new website coming this week. Thanks for listening to another episode of Biohacking with Brittany. If you're interested in finding the show notes or the sponsors for this episode, you can do so on my website, which is biohackingbrittany.com. Remember to follow me on Instagram where I'm most active. My handle is at biohackingbrittany. And if you're interested in working together and you want to email me directly, you can do that. My email is info at biohackingbrittany.com. And I look forward to hearing from you and having you tune in next week.